Hi guys, today Charger Lab will bring another Apple amazing product, the Apple MagSafe Dual Charger. This charger can charge your phone and watch at the same time, so the price reached 129 US dollars, which is three times compared to regular MagSafe charger. Let's go ahead to see why it will be that expensive. The white packaging is still Apple style, clear and simple. It'll tell you how to use it. Connect to cable firstly, then charge iPhone and Apple Watch, and it can be folded. As for the charger, we need to prepare a 20 watts or valve power adapter. And the product name, MagSafe Dual Charger, is printed on the side of the box. Designed by Apple and model is A2458. It supports input of 9V, 2.6A or 5V, 3A. Open the box, we can see the charger itself, and the manual and cable are below. The charging cable will be Type-C to Lightning, length is 100cm. The contacts are silver. Use Charger Lab Power ZMF001 to test it. We can see that it's genuine cable with C94 chip. Then let's see the charger, a big circle and a small one. It seems to insert two charging pads into the charger. The rest parts will be flexible, white, skin-like material. You can fold them to reduce the size and make it easier to carry when you travel. Compared to Apple MagSafe charger, the size is identical. The Apple Watch charging pad is connected by a metal shaft. Take a closer look at the product information on the metal ring, which is the same as what's printed on the box. The lightning port is on the top. Use the caliper to measure the size of the charger. The length is 160mm, width is 74mm, and thickness is 7mm, which is about 132 grams. Put iPhone 12 on the wireless charging pad of the mobile phone. We can see the pop-up animation on iPhone. The Charger Lab Power ZKM001C shows the input power is about 18 watts, and the charging power of two devices at the same time is about 19 watts. Except for the iPhone and Apple Watch, let's see its compatibility with other devices like Android phones and AirPods. The input power of iPhone 12 mini is 15 watts. Input power of iPhone 12 Pro Max is 17 watts. Input power of Mi 11 is 5 watts. Input power of Huawei Mate 40 Pro is only 2 watts. Input power of Samsung S21 is 5 watts. And the input power of AirPods Pro is 2 watts. Okay, after testing, we're gonna tear it apart to see what it looks like inside. Let's use the cutting machine to start. We can see those two parts are connected via this flat cable, and it is fixed by screws on both sides. There is a small magnet, and here are four small cylindrical magnets around the shell, which can be attracted together when folded. After removing the small input board and the Apple Watch charging module, we can see the aluminum foam on the PCB's back. The front of the PCB is covered with three shields. The Apple Watch charging pad is fixed with screws. The coil is connected to the PCB through a wire, and the wire is covered with black insulation tube. After removing the shields, we can see different areas of the PCB. Firstly, the lightning port. Here is the boost circuit of MagSafe wireless charging. This one is Texas Instruments Boost Converter, model is TPS61178. The shot key diode next to it comes from Owen Semiconductor, which is used to improve conversion efficiency. This is an annoy inductor for boost. This is low switching. This chip is responsible for dynamically adjusting the output voltage according to the requirements of wireless charger. And it comes from Cypress CYPD2104. Here is a charging IC. 
This is Texas Instruments 3.3V Linear Regulator, model is TPS782533. Remove the MagSafe module, which is very similar to the MagSafe module we removed before. The charging coil is connected to PCB through the wire, and the magnet ring consisted of 16 small magnets which are fixed by glue. Then the PCB of MagSafe charger adopts U-shaped design. Here's an MPS synchronous rectifier step-down IC used to power the MCU of wireless charging, model is MP2388. This is Texas Instruments temperature detection chip used for overheating protection, model is TMP302. This is the mass control chip of MagSafe charger, which comes from ST Microelectronics. This chip has high-performance MCU with DSP and FPU and integrated 512KB flash, 180MHz CPU, AR2 accelerator, and dual QSPI. This is wireless charging controller customized by ST Microelectronics and packaged by CPS. It also integrates moist fat driver. There are two moist fats used to drive wireless charging coil. Here are four white MPO resonant capacitors connected in parallel. The wireless charging coil is wound with this wire and covered by this plastic plate with the induction coil. Back to this PCB. The left circuit is used for wireless charging and voltage adjustment of the Apple Watch. This one is Texas Instruments Synchronous Rectification Step-Down Converter used to power the Master Control MCU of Apple Watch wireless charger, model is TPS65125. This is the bug inductor, and this is Texas Instruments Synchronous Bug Boost Converter used to adjust the output voltage of Apple Watch wireless charger, model is TPS63030. This is Texas Instruments 5 volts Linear Regulator, Input with stand voltage is 30 volts and model is TPS70950. This is a filter inductor. The right side is the wireless charging circuit for Apple Watch. There is master control chip, moist fat driver, and moist fat. This is ST Microelectronics STM32F072CBY8, used for wireless charging control. These are two Texas Instruments half bridge drivers used to drive moist fat for wireless charging. Model is TPS51604. There are two large MPO resonant capacitors. Take apart the charging pad of Apple Watch and take out the coil. We can see that there is an injection reinforcement and insulation in the cavity. Well, after the entire teardown, we found this dual charger puts the boost circuit of MagSafe on the Apple Watch side and is controlled by Cypress CYPD2104. The wireless charging circuit of MagSafe and Apple Watch adopts ST Microelectronics Master Control Chip. So ST Microelectronics and Texas Instruments are still the main chip suppliers, which is the guarantee of product quality, and can also explain why it will be so expensive. If you are an Apple fan, will you buy it to charge your iPhone and Apple Watch? You can tell us the reason below. Thanks for watching today's video. Hope you can subscribe to us for more content. See you next time. Bye.